And yung ating last case for integral of powers of sine and cosine is case 3. So, kung i-recall -re natin case 1 and case 2 ay yung case 1, sine and cosine. And then case 2, sine combination with cosine. At least, uh, yung kanilang exponent must be positive odd integer. Okay? So, yung case 3 naman, kung walang positive odd even integer, rather, yung kanilang mga exponent ay positive even integer. So, anong gagawin natin? Ang gagawin natin is to express, okay, yung ating uh, functions in terms of uh, multiples of uh, 2. Or, I mean, express natin siya in terms of sine squared for sine and cosine squared for cosine. Pero, ang identity na gagamitin natin ay hindi yung Pythagorean identity. Yung gagamitin natin ay itong dalawang ito. Yung half an angle. Identity for sine and cosine. So, yung sine squared, papalitin natin siya ng 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. Take note ha, kung ang ating angle dito ay in terms of x, yung dito na natin ay madodobre siya, 2x. Okay, for cosine din, kung x, 2x. Ngayon, kapag 2x to, 2x times 2, 4x. Kapag um, 5x ito, so ang mag magiging uh, equivalent nun ay 1 plus cosine 10x. So, yun ang babantayan nyo. Okay? So, parehas lang naman yung uh, ating identity for sine squared and cosine x. Parehas lang. Yung sine lang na iba. So, sa cosine positive, sa sine squared is negative. So, yan yung ipapalit natin. Halimbawa, for a, sine raised to nx dx where n is a positive um, even integer. So, express mo lang yung sine raised to n in terms of sine squared. Tapos, papalitan mo ngayon yan ng papalitan mo ngayon ito ng identity. Okay? Since this is sine squared, that is 1 minus so x to 2x over 2. Kapag cosine, express mo siya in terms of cosine squared and palitan uli ng identity. Okay? In such case, magkakaroon lang tayo ng cosine 2x. What is the integral of cosine 2x? That is uh, sine. A-arrange lang natin yung 2x kasi kailangan yung u merong du. Dapat 2x to dx yun. So, wala na tayong problema. So, isang, ano lang siya, uh, function na ang exponent ay 1. Kapag gano'n, wala naman tayong problema doon, di ba? We just apply yung trigonometric, uh, integral of tri trigonometric function for cosine and sine. Kung parehas naman, combination, tapos parehas na positive even integer ang exponent, parehas mo lang dyan sila, i papalitan ng identity. So, 1 minus cosine 2x over 2 for sine squared and 1 plus cosine 2x over 2 for cosine squared. Tapos, um, if a factor out mo lang yung, ano dyan, yung fraction, and then magkakaroon ka ng binomial. Sum and difference of binomial. Kung parehas lang silang squared, ha? So, mamaya medyo bibiyong ko yung preview dyan. For now, um, sample tayo ng isang problem. Okay? Ayan. So, again, ito yung ikalawang seat work. So, you have two problems in your seat work for today. One and two. So, ito na yung last. So, solve muna natin to and then bigyan ko kayo ng hint for your problem number two. Okay, dito tayo sa integral of sine squared x dx. Again, this is a sine under case 1, 2, 3. And then, tingnan mo lang yung exponent niya. Ano ba siya? Positive ba? Positive even odd or if positive odd or positive even? So, this is positive even. So, you apply case 3. Sa case 3, ang identity gagamitin ay yung half an angle. Okay? So, wala tayong problem dito kasi wala na tayong factor out. Wala tayong i-raise to ano kasi sine squared x na siya. So, diretso natin siya palitan. 1 minus, bantayan mo lang yung angle, no? 1 minus, kapag sine squared, 1 minus cosine 2x over it x over 2, I mean. Kapag cosine squared x, 1 plus cosine 2x over 2. So, ito 1 minus cosine x to. So, twice over 2. And then, dx. Ganyan lang siya. Factor out mo. Susunod, factor out mo. Okay? O kaya paghiwalayin mo para ma-imagine nyo paano nahiwalay yan. Kasi, parang a minus b over c. So, pwedeng a over c yan minus b over c. Pwede yan, no? Kapag Ilan mo over C, A minus P. Kasi same, same sila ng denominator. Okay? So, minus 
Okay, cosine 2x over 2 dx. And then, paghiwalay natin. So, distribute natin. Eh, bakit? Wala. dx. Ayan. So, 1 half dx. Or, pwedeng ilabas natin na yung 1 half sa integral sign. Minus. Okay, this is 1 half also. Tama? Cosine 2x dx. Kasi 1 over 2 yan. Okay, evaluate each term. Ang u mo dito ay, so wala lang yan, um, dx lang, integral of dx is x, okay? So dito tayo, integral of cosine u du is sine u plus c, or sine u. Ngayon, kailangan nating bantayan, dapat yung u ng cosine u merong du, sine u. Bago natin ma-apply yan. So, our u here, ang u natin dito ay 2x. Ang derivative ng 2x ay 2 dx. So, sa case 3, yan lang ang babantay nyo lagi. If yung u mero, du. Kasi, ang lalabas na factors natin or mga variables ay in terms of cosine 2x, tapos dx lang siya. So, lalagay tayong 2 dito, lalagay tayo ng 1 half. Negative yung kanyang reciprocal. Okay? And then, proceed tayo applying yung ating integral integration technique. So, 1 half x minus 1 half times 1 half, 1 fourth. Apply na natin. What is the integral of cosine? U. So, du, that is sine u. What is u? 2x. Okay. Plus c. Ayan. So, ganyan lang kasimple yung case 4 natin. Ang bago lang dyan ay yung identity. Okay. Simple lang tong problem na to. So, ito, try nga natin to Yung umpisa lang ha, pero kayo na magtutuloy. So, again, combination ng sine and cosine, pero walang odd. Parehas na, ano, parehas na event. So, ito, papalitan natin siyang 1 minus cosine x ito. So, 2 twice, no? Over 2. Ayan, wala na tayo. Ito kasi, ito, okay, lalagay ko na ito. Ito kasi ay cosine squared x raised to 2. Yan. Okay, lalagay ko muna pala yun. So, sine, ay. So, ito sine squared x, tapos ito cosine squared x raised to 2. Yan. Kailangan represent mo yung mga uh, sine and cosine natin in terms of 2 or squared, no? So, ito, 1 minus cosine 2x over 2. Ito siya rin, plus nga lang. Kasi, bakit 2x? Kasi puro x lang yan, no? Okay, ito ay naka-squared dx. And then, factor out mo. Pwede ka nang diretso mag-factor out dyan. Kasi, ito kasi, pwedeng 1 half. 1 minus cosine 2x. Pwede yan. 1 half times 1, 1 half. 1 half times negative cosine 2x, cosine over 2x. Ito, kung gusto mo yung factor out yung 1 half, i-squared mo siya. Okay, kasi ganun ito yan. 1 plus cosine 2x okay, squared over 2 squared. So, kapag pinactor out mo, 1 over 2 squared. Okay, sige, lalagay natin dito. Or that is 1 fourth. 1 plus cosine. Bakit tinatanggal natin yung mga fraction? Para ma-express natin sila in terms of binomial. So, a... Ilabas na natin yung 1 half at saka 1 fourth sa integral sign. So, meron ka nalang 1 minus cosine 2x, 1 plus cosine 2x, squared dx. So, bago mo sila ma-distribute, bago mo kasi i-distribute itong ito, kasi pagsasamahin mo yan. Okay, by coil method, foil method, i-expand mo muna to. Expand mo muna to kasi naka-squared to eh. Expand mo muna at saka mo i-distribute. Okay. Kapag na-distribute mo na, doon ka na makakapag-integrate isa-isa. Provided that ito, itong 1 half times 1 fourth, or that is 1 over 8, ito, yung buong term sa lahat ng makukuha mo dito, nakamultiply kay 1 over 8. So, that is your seat work number 2.